Chapter 3 Professor Smape I woke up to a sea of faces standing over me. I think he's coming around, said the particularly old, grizzled teacher who had put the hat on me and who I thought would look like a witch, even without the oversized hat. A tall, dark teacher walked in. Professor Smape, I think this boy needs some pumpkin juice, the witch said. Never mind the pumpkin juice, said an old lady, dressed up as a deranged nurse. Here, drink this. She handed me a glass filled with a pale green liquid. The liquid went down thick and tasted like salted bug guts. I coughed it up, spitting it all over Smape's shoes. What the heck was in that? Fermented slug tentacle with a dash of ground newt spleen. I think I'm going to be sick. I held my stomach and Smate took several steps back. Everybody, give him some air, the wrinkled witch said. Once she realized I wasn't going to puke, she spoke. I'm Professor McDonagall. What's your name, child? Austin Winters, I said, slightly annoyed at being called a child. An American, no doubt. I nodded. And why, pray tell, said Professor Smape, aren't you wearing your robes? Well, I just got to England yesterday, so I didn't have time to buy any supplies. You flew all the way from America to attend Hogwarts? McDonagall asked. No, actually, I never even heard of the school before yesterday. I added, it looks great. You guys really know how to put on some great magic tricks. Tricks, snarled Smape. Did he say tricks? Oh dear, added McDonagall. I highly suspect this boy is a muddle. Drops of spit sprang from Smape's mouth as he spoke. And seeing as he has been sorted into Slipperin, it's my job, the door flew open with a crash. To make sure he has the same opportunities as every other student, cried an old man dressed in the freakiest mad wizard's costume I'd ever seen. One of the teachers mumbled, Dumble snore. Headmaster, Smape said, This boy is a muddle, no, Sneveris. He patted Smape on the shoulder. I highly doubt that. Each year, I send out several of Hogwarts's best owls to locate any gifted muddleborn student we may have overlooked. They have never failed me. That's because they've never found anyone. Obviously. Nonsense. We must at least give the boy a chance. It's only fair. I thought about the letter. The owl hadn't actually given it to me. It might have just dropped it in its haste to avoid being defeathered as I shoot it out of my room. He thinks they're magic tricks. He is in your house. The old wizard smiled. I'll let you explain it to him. Perhaps Haggard can take him to Diagonally Alley for supplies. Until then, Finch can loan him robes and a wand from the lost and found. Brilliant, Smape said with obvious contempt. Before this interruption, I was in the middle of dealing with another pair of delinquents. You wait here. He whispered something to McDonagall, and everyone left. I hope you enjoyed our story today. Don't forget to subscribe. And see you next time.